So I'm Andy Allen. I've been a fighter pilot, a test pilot, a Top Gun pilot, an astronaut. I'm the CEO, owner, founder of Aerodyne Industries, and I'm the owner of a Phenom 100, and I love it. My experience base started out a little civilian flying, uh, learning how to fly. Actually, my father was the one teaching me how to fly early on. I had five kids, took them all flying, and yes, I was the one that really got bit by the bug. And I'm the one, in, since I was a, a youngster that would, at recess, look up at the sky if I heard an airplane flying overhead. So I just fell in love with flying. So I knew from a very early age that that's what I wanted to do. Went into the military, went in the Marine Corps, and just started flying airplanes. As you get into something like fighters, it's a different kind of flying. A lot of it's straight up and straight down and pulling a lot of G-forces, interjection missions where you're gonna come in under the radar, so you're gonna come in just a few feet off the ground at five or 600 knots, and, and you're gonna get to a target, hopefully, before the radar sees you. It's kind of like the Top Gun movie. You move into the test pilot world, and now you're, you're, you've been recognized for someone who can fly an airplane, but now they want to teach you all the things about how an airplane flies, why it flies, and how to make it better. And I really fell in love with the Embraer family of airplanes. You know, from a test pilot perspective, they're easy to fly, they're very reliable, they have lots of redundancies. It's single pilot, certified to be single pilot. So for me in, in the world of NASA, it was great to fly the space shuttle because I got a lot of manual flying done in space shuttle and the commander had to do the landing manually. So I like that. And there's a nice red button on the control stick on this airplane on the yoke. I hit that button and the system drops into what I call this manual mode very easily, quickly, instantaneously, and the airplane's mine, and I got it. I was very impressed when I first flew it, and having flown it now for quite a few hundred hours, continually impressed. Now I'm in the civilian life, in the business world. When I go look for an airplane, one, I wanna be able to go from a point A to point B efficiently as I can and I wanna get the best range and the best payload and the best speed and all those kinds of things that you can measure. But more importantly, if I have passengers on the plane, then you gotta focus on the safety piece of it and you gotta be comfortable that it's safe to go fly. Embraer's got a great training process. So I went through the training process just like everybody else went through the training process for that initial type rating that you go through. If I was moving up the system of uh, reciprocating engine propellers to go into turbine power, turboprops, it's the easiest step that you can make if you want to transition into jet engines. The systems are, are very easy from a pilot's perspective. The Phenom 100 also provides an extremely convenient opportunity for me to be very efficient. So for example, I can make multiple trips in a single day. So I can fly from Melbourne to DC to have some meetings up in DC, fly down to Huntsville, Alabama, have a meeting or two there, make a swing by and real quickly uh, go have a meeting over in Destin, Fort Walton Beach area, and then fly back to Melbourne, do it all in a day because it, it brings you the convenience of landing at airports that are general aviation airports. The uh, 100 performs very well in going in and out of a small airfield. So, Performance and safety, convenience to fly, um, reliability rates, all those kinds of things were all things that kind of weighed into my mind of, as I was looking around. When I was an astronaut, all the astronauts work in Houston, Texas. Mission control is there, but I used to love coming to Florida and the Kennedy Space Center. To me, it was always just a real thrill to meet the people that were actually what I call the hands-on. That touched labor of engineers, technicians, to me, they were what really makes it work. And maybe the icing on the cake for me was to keep my airplane at Melbourne. And it just so happens that Embraer is in Melbourne. So it's easy to call up my friends and maintenance at Embraer and say, this doesn't seem right to me. Can you come over and look at it? It makes it really a simple process for me. So Embraer also has kind of a family atmosphere if you really get down to it. They build good relationships and, and it fits me well. 